Hey guys, the Huawei Mate 20 and Mate 20 Pro has been leaked recently and the specs, display and cameras are same here. So why this model goes for the Pro naming scheme? So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the differences between the Pro and a regular Mate 20. So design wise, they both are different. The Mate 20 has a very small notch on top in the form of water drop. Side bezels are thin and bottom chin is still a little bit thicker. And according to previous rumors, the Mate 20 Pro model will have 6.25 inch or 6.9 inch display with 6.8 mm notch, a little bit smaller than the iPhone 10. And also, it will have a little bit smaller chin than the iPhone 10. Pretty much no chin. It's gonna push the chin in the actual bezel, which is something that only Apple has done so far. But seems like Huawei will be joining no chin squared. On the side of the Mate 20 Pro, here are curved edges which also looks very really nice. The reason for the bigger notch on the Mate 20 Pro as compared to the Mate 20 is a 3D facial recognition. Yes, you heard that right. This notch is not for any aesthetic purposes. It's for a beefy face ID sensors. In that video, we talked about the live screen protectors of the Mate 20 with a lot of holes for the face ID on notch. Now previously, there were rumors that Huawei is doing something with ultrasonic fingerprint sensors for the Mate 20 family, but now it's confirmed that only the Mate 20 Pro model will get the ultrasonic in this living bit scanner, while the regular Mate 20 will have it on the back. Now the difference between the ultrasonic and optical fingerprint sensor, I'll talk about it in my upcoming video, so be sure to subscribe for that. Looking at the back on the Mate 20 and possibly a Mate 20 Pro, we have a totally different triple camera design. It is right in the center with this rectangular shape and hope it'll even more powerful than the Huawei P20 Pro because of the current 980 and some improvements in the cameras. The Mate 20 will have the fingerprint scanner below the triple camera setup as you can see in this live image. On the notch of the Mate 20, here is a single front facing camera and above the notch here is an airpiece that doubles as the first in a pair of stereo speakers while the second is at the bottom right next to the USB Type-C port. So you can also expect these stereo speakers on the Pro model as well and the headphone jack is also available which was not on the P20 lineup but now Huawei has realized that it's a very useful feature. As for the internals, both are come with Cren 980 which will unveil tomorrow along with EMUI 9 based on Android Pie. Huawei will release the Mate 20 lineup sometime in October but tomorrow they will unveil the new chipset Cren 980 which will be the most powerful chip of 2018 and even in 2019 along with a new version of their skin EMUI 9. So yeah that's all the difference between the Huawei Mate 20 and Mate 20 Pro should these differences are considered for $100 or you'll go for the non-pro model which will be $100 less expensive and yeah one thing I forget the Mate 20 will come with 4200mAh battery and the pro model will come at least 4500mAh so yeah that's all the Huawei Mate 20 and Mate 20 Pro now let me know what you guys think about it and please be sure to subscribe for more upcoming videos and yeah I will catch you guys in the next one. See you soon.